Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here again. It's good to see everybody back. I haven't had a chance to film a whole lot uh, recently just because we've been traveling. We have came uh, to Connecticut to visit some family of my wife's and it's been it's been a really eventful week so far with traveling it's just it's hard to find time to film and uh, uh, either way here we are staying at a summer house um, in Clinton Connecticut really quite a nice place with a really pretty view as you can see behind me there's a the, the Connecticut Bay is here and right about now the tide is really low so the cool thing is and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys but um, when the tide is really low, it's like shallow pretty much most of the way, like halfway through the bay, you can actually walk out. And uh, the only thing is, the tricky part, is there's a lot of shells out here. And I'll show you up close, but all these shells are like really sharp. So stepping on them with bare feet can be quite uncomfortable. But um, lucky for me, I got these shoes that I found. Like, I, you have to have water shoes because there's sharp um, sharp shells and there's like a whole lot of crabs in there like when you're walking they're all just like dispersing and so they could theoretically like be your feet you know but um, yeah it's been a, a really quite nice uh, pleasant I guess you could say pleasant week eventful with the kids and uh, by the time that I upload this video I'll be home but this is this is the last day we've been here since uh, Saturday I think yeah Saturday um, and uh, we've had, had a lot, seen a lot, you know, just had a good time. Anyways, uh, with that being said, I did wanna, I did bring a little travel chess, uh, chess set with me from Chess House. Um, now I know when it comes to travel chess set, there's, there's a lot of different travel chess sets out there and uh, um, a lot of, of, of ones I've seen, I've seen some on House of Staunton as well as Chess Bazaar. When I was looking online, I had to, well, I wanted to pick something that would be uh, worthwhile so it comes in this really small little binder like pouch with the little logo obviously you have the the <laughs> walking advertisement here but um, just simple unzip like this and what you find inside is you've got a little board like this and you have your chess pieces that are embedded into this sort of a foam like not foam but you know have this sort of like felt like uh, material that the piece, pieces sit in and uh, size wise it's not a pretty big set and the pieces aren't terribly big but what makes this unique I mean I guess with all the travel chess sets uh, what it is is the the pieces are, are they have a magnetic um, like a magnet inside of them. The pieces themselves aren't very big, but the magnet inside of them will stick to the board in such a way that you could take the board out and have the pieces, even upside down, stay on the board, which kind of makes it nice because, especially in situations where you're studying some moves, let's say you're on an airplane and you can play a game on a train or on an airplane and like let's say you're playing a game well you could you could be playing a game like this like on a iPad or something and you can be moving your pieces around see and uh, nothing falls off which is really quite neat so let's say you're either playing a game and you can say okay buddy here you go and he makes his move and then he gives it back to you or you can use this as a, as a study board. So let's say you're somewhere traveling and you wanna analyze a particular position. You could be holding it like a book and you can move your pieces around like this and uh, you're, you don't have to worry about the pieces falling off the board. Uh, what's really neat is that this particular chess set wasn't really expensive at all. I think it cost me somewhere in the in the range of like thirty dollars or something maybe even less so for thirty bucks you get a really quite quite a nice little set with a, a convenient pouch the pieces don't go anywhere um, and that's what makes it a nice travel set in my opinion I mean there's gonna be other ones that are gonna be probably better than this but um, 
it's still it's a, it's a nice little set um, and the only downside to this is, is uh, sometimes I feel like it's, it's kind of tricky to get the like right over here pieces are embedded quite deep inside so uh, sometimes you really got to get the nail in there um, when you're trying to take the pieces out and uh, uh, it can be a little tricky sometimes putting them back in it, it's not a problem but taking them out it, you know you got to get, get your nail in there and sometimes you know you really have to dig them out from there that's the only downside to this whole set I don't really have any anything bad to say about it I feel like because I've seen some travel chess sets that come in like a box like which is also pretty cool but the box makes it a little bit more bulky a little bit bigger plus when you open the box you have the hinges of the box laying outside so if you're limited on space if you're like let's say you're on a, on a plane and they got those little uh, tables uh, maybe the box where like it opens up might be a little too big for that table whereas this this is pretty small so it's uh, and I really love the fact that it's magnetic like I think that's the the real key here if it wasn't magnetic it would be terrible because if it wasn't magnetic then you couldn't play this because anytime you have wind or shake you know the pieces would fly everywhere because the pieces aren't very heavy at all so but because they're magnetic it really kind of gives them a feel that they're heavier than they really are and uh, it's nice I mean with any travel chess set the idea is <laughs> the travel chess set isn't designed for you to stow it in a suitcase and play it whenever you get somewhere like in this case Connecticut no the travel chess set is specifically designed so you can play or you can analyze games while you're traveling which means you know uh, some kind of a bus, car, anywhere you want to go, like train, airplane. You want to be able to have something that's small enough for you to carry in your suitcase and at the same time, or like your backpack, and at the same time have the ability to just pull it out like this and uh, play in such a way that you don't end up losing all your pieces while you're playing. Got bugs and crap. I've been bitten up here like so much. I don't know, maybe like, and, and the people that, like the relatives, they say, well, that's really unusual. You're getting bitten up. I don't know. I've just been having a tough time. I'm not trying to sell it. I don't get any commission from recommending this one way or another, but I think it's a really well-designed set. And, uh, you know, depending on what you guys are looking for, this is, this is quite a nice, nice little travel set. Now, one of, the, one of the things that I can see that is an advantage to like if you guys look at uh, House of Staunton they have these travel boxes there are wooden boxes and they sort of just basically close on the top and you can open them up and the pieces are really tiny and you what you notice is that you can set up a particular position and then if you got to go somewhere you close the box up and uh, you go somewhere and they're they're magnetized and everything so then you come back somewhere else and you want to continue the same position all you have to do is open the box all your pieces are set up. You cannot do this here because, uh, I mean, you could. You could set up your position. You could walk with the board with the set up position. Let's say you're moving somewhere else. You can walk with it like sideways, literally sideways. The pieces are not going to move anywhere unless you like really try to kick the board or something. Um, you can walk somewhere else and continue analyzing your position. But you can't put it back with the pieces upright. That's that would be something, I mean, it's not, doesn't give you that opportunity, but still, I feel like this is pretty cool overall, um, worthwhile. Chess House is really cool about uh, customer service. They're like best customer service I've seen so far um, compared to some of the other chess distributors. Uh, chess Bazaar was okay. Uh, chess House was like, Psh! because what happened is one of the, one of the pawns one of the dark pawns, uh, the magnet inside of it, for some reason, is kind of weak, almost non-existent. And uh, what happens is, all the rest of the pieces are fine, but when you flip the board upside down, one of the pawns in this particular set just slides off the board. So when I got the set a couple of weeks ago, I, I emailed them the next day. I said, hey, like one of the dark pawns is not magnetized the way it should be. And I literally got a response probably within an hour or so saying, no problem, uh, we will just send you another one. Don't worry about it. I was like, holy crap, that's pretty awesome. And so, I mean, they're, they're clearly trying to make sure their reputation is good and, and they're do doing a great job as far as, you know, 
presenting themselves as a company that has good customer service because it, to a lot of people, customer service is very important. So um, I, I, I was surprised. I, I didn't expect to hear from them that quickly. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Um, I'm going to be having, like when I come back from Connecticut, I got some other really cool chess sets. So I'll be uh, hopefully finding the time, more time when I come back to be able to do a few more videos. Um, and so if you, if you do enjoy uh, my videos, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, comment if you have any, any thoughts um, or anything to say. And I'll be sure to try to get back to you. I haven't really been um, on board with the, I haven't really been able to get back to some of the people commenting while I'm on vacation because I didn't bring my laptop. So it's kind of really hard for me to use my phone and try to comment at the same time. It's just easier for me to do it with the laptop. So when I come back, when I come back from Connecticut, I'll be able to to look over all the all the comments that you know you guys have been leaving, and hopefully be able to get back to some of you guys. Okay. Anyways, uh, with that being said, thanks for stopping by, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.